guys, how are you today? Hi, we're in my kitchen. So we're unmounting some wood mounted stamps. These are Daniel Torrenti Stamp Boutique stamps. They don't come cling mounted, they only come on wood blocks. And I've been thinking about a while for uh, about unmounting them, so I thought I'd shoot a quick video on how exactly to do that. Um, and I do have to say, as I'm doing it, I think they stamp better and clearer um, unmounted <laughs> than they do mounted the way they come from the factory. So I took the whole stamp, wood block and all, and stuck it rubber side up in my microwave for 30 seconds. Now you're going to want to test your microwave to see um, how long it takes in your microwave to do this. Start with 10 seconds and if it doesn't pull up easily put it back in for 10 more until you figure out with your microwave what temperature works well but they should pull up just like this. The wood's going to be hot so take all caution and I'm just throwing the blocks in the sink until they cool off. If you do it right the foam will stay on the back and it is sticky from the adhesive they used to mount it on the wood block so I'm not going to put it on easy mount again I'm going to just put it on an acrylic block here and then I have some black ink behind the camera and I'm going to stamp it on a white piece of paper here and then I have some empty um, DVD cases so I'm putting I can get four of our my people in here at a time and then I will put the white card I've been stamping on the outside so I know what people are in here and then I'm storing them in a box which I'll show you in a minute I'll be right back after I'm done and mounting all these stamps hey guys so you saw me doing a quick tutorial on how to unmount your rubber stamps I do want to um, give you some cautions so make sure that you don't do it more than 10 seconds at a time and that you keep an eye on the microwave and you don't walk away. We do not want to set anything on fire. How would I know that's possible? <laughs> guess. Well, I'll give you one guess. Yay, yay, yay. <laughs> so be careful. And also when you're handling the wood, you may want to pull it out with a rag and handle it that way. The wood can get very hot, so please don't burn yourself. All right, that being said, I did unmount all of my stamp boutique stamps and put them in these blank DVD cases, which I talk about in the Viva Las Vegas stamps video. Um, I will post links for where to get the DVD cases and the bin that I'm storing them in in my art room in the description below. Um, I did fit quite a few of the stamps in each DVD case, and you can fit some on both sides and squeeze it shut. If you have big stamps, in here like big background stamps. I have found that it's um, better to cut these little things off here. I don't know what these are for but you can just get some uh, wire cutters or some snippers and cut those off. Um, that way it doesn't poke into the stamp. Uh, in, this, in this case I didn't have to do that but I have done it on a few of the bigger um, background stamps. Like Did I do it in here? No. I did it in one of the Viva Las Vegas ones, and I don't remember which one, but anyway. Um, I do also think, um, I'm glad I did this because I do think that the Stamp Boutique Daniel Torrenti stamps, I think they were much easier to get a clear stamped image unmounted than they were on the wood blocks. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe it was just the way I was using them. I have no idea. But um, I think they worked really well. I am going to, like with my other um, ones where I don't have... Uh, product packaging to go in the outer sleeve. I'm going to put a label on the spine. In case I use them in a video tutorial, I can tell you guys which, you know, at least which manufacturer the stamp is from. Um, so I'm going to put Stamp Boutique Daniel Torrenti on the spine with my brother P Touch label maker. And then just like with my other stamps, they get put into one of these quarter bins from Target. These are $4.99. And on the outside, I always label which brands, manufacturers, or types of stamps are in the box. Um, it makes it a little easier if I'm working on a project and I know I want to use a Daniel Torrenti um, you know, figure like his mermaid in a tag or something. I know exactly which box to go in and then I don't have to dig around. So anyway, this is a much easier way to store a lot of stamps in a very small space. And as you can see by how full this bin is, not, um, you can get a lot of these DVD cases in one bin and 
consequently a lot of stamps. Now I do have a few stamps I'll probably never unmount. Like these two that say Happy Mail. This one doesn't even have it on the outside, but I know it says... Oh, this, this one says Love This, sorry. This one says Happy Mail. These are just ones I use on Happy Mail envelopes, and I'll probably always just leave them this way. Um, it's just a little easier, but, uh, you know, you never know. I change my mind a lot. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, give it some thought. If you have a bunch of wood mountain stamps that you really love, uh, but they take up a lot of space in your art room, think about unmounting them, or at least trying it on one of them. Um, I did, at one point, all of my wood mount stamps, and I shouldn't have done that because I ended up not wanting to keep some of them. So if you have a lot of stamps, maybe you need to do a purge first and decide which ones you really want to keep or not. And then think about unmounting them, especially if you have limited space. All right, that's it for today. Don't forget to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later.